What's up, guys? Today we are going to be adding um, a pickup system. So you can do guns and stuff, but we're mainly going to focus on ammo today. Um, so what we're going to do is we're, we're going to do the first setup. First, we're going to need a folder in Workspace. We're going to need a folder in Workspace. We're going to have to call it items. We're going to need a event called grab to send to the client to grab ammo. Uh, event, if you want, you can also put it in a stored inventory like I'm going to also show you how to do. Okay, so now we can actually start the code. I mean, we're gonna obviously gonna need, we're obviously gonna need, um, oh my goodness, crackers just fell off my desk, and they went into the abyss of behind my desk, which has not been touched for years. There's probably, like, millions of ants coming out right now, because, and then I dropped a coke. <laughs> Today's not my day. It's gonna explode the second that I open it. Oh yeah, that's hard. Okay. We're, we're gonna need a magazine. I'm going to take my M1911 magazine, and then instead of having it be called mag, let's call it, like, ammo. Then we're going to need some values inside of it, so we're going to add a string value. Don't copy a string value into it. Um, and then also a int value. This will be called... Ammo count. We don't need ammo type currently, but er, we're gonna need type though. Ammo. We can just have this like this. Now we're gonna go into our server script. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna need, um, Local EPS equals game get service proximity prompt service. Speaking of that, what we should actually do is add a proximity prompt. Call this grab. Put this in there. And then we can do grab M uh, 7 mm because it's 7 millimeter. And then I'm gonna do some quick filling alteration. Okay, now what we're gonna do is pps.prompt triggered connect function prompt player. Now it's pretty simple. If prompt and prompt find first child type and player then local distance equals player dot um humanoid root heart dot position minus prompt dot parent dot position. We're gonna wrap this in brackets or else it'll like give a total it'll give like a total of three numbers but we want just one number if distance low or equals um prompt dot max activation distance then then we're gonna do an else player kick I'm gonna do exploiting detected I'm not gonna add a message until later. And then, um, let's do if prompt dot type dot um, value equals equals ammo. If you're doing a weapon, then you can do a am uh, weapon. And we're gonna need this ammo count. So let's do like five. Then what we're gonna do is events.grab fire client 
player prompt dot type dot value and then prompt dot type dot ammo count. We're gonna put this in a table. Shoot, I might have already done something here that I forgot to move out. Somewhere down here. Okay, yeah, grab. We don't want that. Okay, so events dot grab. Um, not on client event connect. We're not gonna add a player because, you know, we already have that. It's, we don't need another player in this function. And then we're going to do, um, type, and then other types. Sorry, me. I forgot a function. Make sure to always add a function unless you're, uh, if you're making a function in the function or in the connect, then you want to do function or just call switch or something like switch, just like that. But, um, we're not doing that. So if type, type equals equals ammo, then, um, just gonna do ammo. I just had a really pog idea. And so what we're gonna do is go up to where our ammo is and do local current or weapon ammo equals ammo. Let's do ammo one. And then in here we can call do do if what or uh, if weapon in hand dot name equals equals primary then um let's not like that primary then ammo or weapon ammo equals ammo one else weapon ammo equals ammo two now that we have that we can go into here and do weapon ammo plus equals wait here let's actually I just realized that'll only make this go up. So let's do one. And then in our thing right here, let's do just one and then two. So you can do down here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ammo, weapon ammo, plus equals other types one. Oh yeah, and then also in the service script we're gonna do um, prompt dot parent destroy. Okay, so now if you go over here, we grab it. I've been kind of dumb. Okay. Oh yeah, we have to do. Yeah, sometimes I'm stupid. Not just that, but we should do um. We didn't even need that. We need data that that um stored ammo plus plus equals other types. It's still nice to have specifically what ammo we have, so we can put that in the reload function. But right here, if we grab on number and table. Yep, that, that's, that's me, other types one. <laughs> yeah, I'm clumsy as heck. Okay, so now it should give us five. Number and instance now. 
number and instant number and instant instant number and instant number data is numbered that makes way more sense that makes sense Okay, now we, if we hold it, there we go, we get five, depending on how much it had. So now, that's that. Now, we're going to add custom animations, because, put the comment on screen, a commoner um, literally ha had a good idea, but also I was thinking of doing it, so I guess now we have to do it. Like, we have to. Um... So, we already have reload, so, we can just do function module dot inspect objects. And then, we're, we're going to do the first two frames. Do we even need this anymore? No, we don't. I don't know why I still had that. Okay. So, inspect, telling me, um, we're gonna make a key like, let's say, else if in, input dot key code, uh, I, we, we are using F for the grab because we have the leaning, which is E, equals, equals, enum dot key code dot let's say what's a good key that doesn't normally take up space b then my uh, uh weapon data dot inspect and then it should just and then it takes some arguments so in our reload we should get specifically which objects which is I've gone too high haven't I okay I'll just go down here reload weapon data reload and then it's this so this will be our basic main, and then if you want to send more arguments, then you're able to. But this should be enough in case you want, like, let's say you are making the mag, mag come out so they can in inspect the magazine, then it'll do that. So let's see if we press B, it should go do that and then never come back. Yes. Yes, you're shooting sideways now. <laughs> uh, that's fun. But, you know, let's not just have it like that. Let's do function inspect. We're not going to really need any kind of thing here because it's just inspecting. Then we're also going to add at the top. Local inspecting equals false. And then we're going to go over here. Back over here. Um, if inspecting equals equals false then going to do this inspecting equals true you won't be able to do anything and aiming equals false and shooting equals equals false and reloading equals equals false now we're gonna have to do now we're gonna have to do all this <laughs> Okay, 
let's see. And not, um, inspecting. And not inspecting. Where is the aim thing? By the way, we are going to use reload C frame still because it works the same exact way. So we can just use it as a holder for everything. Where is aiming? I think it's. Nope, it's at the very top of my script. I keep. If not reloading and not inspecting and not inspecting. Okay. Um now we're gonna have a weight like we did with our reload. Just gonna copy this fat weight right there. And what we're going to do is do 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 it's up here, I think. Right here. We're going to add a weight. Then inspecting equals false. So. That's pretty simple. And then just inspect. We don't need to send the weapon. Because weapon data will always work. And then there's also switch. We're also going to want to. And not, um, uh, actually, that's okay. Inspecting and not reloading and not shooting. Cause no errors. And then, boom. And then we're gonna go back here because this is where we wanna be. So, what I'm just gonna do is do, um, do this much math dot rad um ninety zero zero and then ask dot weight oh yeah we're also gonna have to add a weight at the end or uh you know like uh it's somewhere here where is it when I was proving a point once I'm pretty sure that I used a zero. Whatever. If you do just wait, then, um, like, on this or this, wait, no, it has to be either on weld or weld. But yeah, you can use a zero as a weight if you really want to. Task dot weight point, uh, one. And then queen joint. And then it'll just set it back to C frame not new. It's a really nifty feature that you can just add infinite animations at certain points. Like this, you see? That's the inspect when you press B. I'm gonna try to make I'm gonna make this animation now. Okay, that's all I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I don't want the I don't want to leave this like a fourteen hour episode like every other episode. But what I can say is have a very, very, very good 